is in the air and we've got so much to look forward to. We'll get you up to speed in this monthly minute. So Christine, I understand that you are with us full time. Yes. How exciting. I'm very excited to be back full time. <laughs> Can you tell us more about your role and what you'll be managing? Definitely. So I will basically be expanding my role as a liaison between the Race Brampleton series, Brampleton Kids Care, and the Teen Summer Service Days. I'm going to help with lifestyles at all the events and also help with programming and facility rentals. Okay, now we are on the cusp of the race season. Yes. Can you tell us what we have to look forward to with races? Okay, so Race Brambleton, it kicks off with the Stepsisters River Run on April 21st, which is a great organization to support. The Stepsisters have been raising funds for breast cancer services for people in our community. Okay, and anything else to look forward to? Yes, and a few weeks after that, we have the Loud and Lime Race coming up too. Okay, and also my favorite event, Brewfest. Yeah, <laughs> Brewfest is gonna happen on Saturday, May 19th, and we definitely need a lot of volunteers. So if you're looking to get a free ticket, have some fun, definitely sign up. All right, that's a great idea. We're really excited to have the stepsisters here with us today to speak about their mission and their annual ribbon run. Hi, I'm Karen Pfister, and I'm super excited to be here to talk to you about the Stepsisters. We currently provide quality of life services to breast cancer patients in Fairfax and Loudoun counties. Those services include transportation to and from appointments, child care, house cleaning services, as well as fresh food and meal delivery, and several more services. Our biggest fundraiser for the Stepsisters is the Ribbon Run that we hold right here in Brambleton. We are excited to host our 11th Ribbon Run on Saturday, April 21st. It's an event for the whole family. We have a 5K and we have a kids fun run and a lot of other activities. This event has grown a lot in our 11 years of hosting it. This year we have a record number of breast cancer survivors who are both participating in the race and serving as volunteers. So many people have been touched by this disease. It is truly wonderful to see the community come together to support those who have received this diagnosis as well as their families. The post-race showcase will have a grab-and-go breakfast that's sponsored by Blue Ridge Grill. We will also have other refreshments, massages, and lots of fun giveaways. Online registration for the event closes April 18th at noon. We welcome walk-up registrations the day of the race. If you'd like to find out more information, please visit www.stepsistersribbonrun.com. Thank you, Stepsisters, for all the great work you do to raise awareness for breast cancer. We'll see you at the run. It's a wonderful thing to be active in our community, supporting families and uplifting friends that need our help. But let's not forget about our furry friends. Join me in supporting the welfare of all animals by attending this year's Fashion for Paws on May 5th. It's an annual runway show featuring animal advocates and their dogs walking the runway together, hosted by Carson Cressley. All money raised benefits the Humane Rescue Alliance, DC's only animal shelter. Visit fashionforpaws.org for more information and to get your ticket. It's the perfect Mother's Day gift. I'll see you there. So many exciting events in Brambleton. Don't forget, if you'd like to get a free ticket to Brewfest this year, sign up to volunteer. We'll see you next time on Brambleton Life.